Viewers, welcome to this video. Today, we are going to share the story of a young Indian woman from Hindu origins who happened to accept Islam. This is the story of Sister Maryam. Maryam comes from India, one of the most populated countries in the world. India has a population of over 1.2 billion people. The demographics of India show that approximately 80% of all Indians follow the Hindu religion. The remaining 20% of Indians belong to other religious minorities. Hinduism is claimed to date far back in history as perhaps one of the earliest religions of the world. Much of the population of India, although are designated as Hindu, have started to adopt a secular way of life. The customs, practices, and concepts presented by Hinduism are fast seeing a decline in the Indian population. This causes ambiguities and doubt in the minds of the progressive, modern, and educated youth. As a result, much of the population is curious. They have questions that seem to be unanswerable by the pundits, gurus, saints, philosophers, and religious scholars. This leaves modern-day Indians with little choice but to live a life with an absence of, or no belief, in the religion of their forefathers. Hinduism and its current-day leadership have failed to answer the many questions relating to human existence, the concepts of good and bad, whether there is a purpose of this life, and the attainment of peace. Therefore, masses of this vibrant and logic-seeking population tend to explore other religions for answers. One religion that has successfully provided answers to the content of this community is the religion of Islam. This was also the case for Maryam. Let's go ahead and hear from Maryam about her reversion. My name is Maryam and I'm 27 years old and I come from India. I uh, belong to Hinduism, uh, and not a very practicing family, okay, like uh, not so religious. Religion was always a confusion and uh, just for the sake of doing it, we used to do it. I mean, none of the family members are so practicing, uh, but yes, they are very rigid in their belief, but they are not practicing. See, it was not that I knew about Islam or I knew about Muslims because honestly speaking, the place from where I come from, although there were Muslims there, but uh, whole 23 years there, I have never met any Muslims. I, I never actually interacted with them until I was here in UAE. And I was always scared of them, honestly speaking, because that is what I was taught from childhood, that, you know, they are not good people. Terrorism is related to them. They are terrorists. They are bad. Stay away from them. But, but then, then uh, I used to work, I used to work in Barclays over here, and I had Muslim friends, Pakistani friends, and they were very good. And that was the time that I realized that, okay, these are humans, and these are really nice people. It was their nice behavior that, first attracted me towards the people, not to the religion. Still, I'm not getting to the religion, just the people. Not uh, people related to a specific country, but people related to Islam. This was what actually attracted me, that how come they are so nice, they are so uh, kind, you know, they are so helping. That was the first time I started, uh, you know, actually uh, uh, knowing uh, about Islam, uh, there were, you know, when you go to these Islamic centers, there are so many books lying there with the basic questions that, that you have in mind about Islam or God or the Creator. I started picking up those books. Uh, I started searching online, and that is how I, I. It's like for one year, I think I had one year, yeah, uh, before accepting Islam. Uh, one year I had studied at. Uh, not the Quran, uh, only from the online or the Googling and all that. See, it has just made me more strong. As a person, it has just made me more strong. And as I said, I'm learning. I am. I, I don't have that much knowledge, uh, you know, but I'm learning. There are times in your life when you will have to uh, beg in front of your creator, you will have to fall. He will make you fall so that you beg in front of him. There will come a time like that where all your ego and all your strength and power and money will fail. And um, I think that realization happened after accepting Islam. Before that, it was always like, oh, okay, I have my parents, I have that car, I have that, I have so much and so much money. But when everything, it's like Allah takes away everything from you to show that, okay, 
Now, now, where are, what are you going to do? I have taken everything from you. I think that Allah had put that strength in me at that point of time that I will not step back no matter what. When I took the Quran in my hand, I literally, even if now I see my hands shiver, it's like I, I cried and cried and cried holding it. I, I just cried. I cried for, I don't know, more than half an hour. I just kept crying. <laughs> If you believe in God, you trust that God. That is all I will say, that you just need to trust that God in whatever you are doing. If you do not have that trust, that faith in God, then it's just uh, your lips that are saying that you believe in God, but you actually do not. Once that faith enters you, in you, it will be automatically followed you know, by the actions, by your deeds. If you can just not accept Allah as your creator, then your creator will make everything easy for you.